I got tears. Hope you can see that. I got tears coming down from my eyes. Oh man. I'm hot sauce junkie Tim. Today, I'm gonna free your death nut. The death nut 3.0. Now, I know this is not for the ball, guys, so I apologize for being late to the ball game, but I'm here and I'm going to attempt this. It's a League of Fire challenge, so I'm going to read the disclaimer. There's six things you have to read, so please bear with me. I'll knock this out as quickly as I can, just like last time. One, I've been warned and fully understand that many products from LeagueofFire.com contain extreme heat and should be used and handled responsibly. I am aware that these products can cause serious injury if directly consumed in quantity ingested and or applied to the skin, eyes, or any bodily organs. I love the bodily organs part. Two, these products are to be used entirely at all risk and I understand the potential danger if used and handled responsibly. Three, if I give any of these products as a gift, I will make the recipient aware of the potential danger if used or handled irresponsibly. I am not inebriated or unsound mind, and I am fully capable to make a rational decision to purchase products. Any product purchased from LeagueOfFire.com should be kept away from children at all times. I accept that LeagueOfFire.com is supplies and manufacturers will no longer be offensive for or liable for any claims or injury, damage arising from use or misuse of these products. And by purchasing these products, whether for myself as a gift, I now have to agree to the fact without a question. One more thing. I, Hot Sauce Strike the Tim, over the age of 18. God, I wish I was 18 again. Of some of mine have read and understood the hot well, I have understood the Death Note 3.0 on the League of Fire website. In summary, I accept that League of Fire, their suppliers, manufacturer, will under no circumstances be responsible for or liable for any claims of injury, damage arising from me consuming this product or muscle. Therefore, I acknowledge and agree to Back without question. Whew. It took almost two minutes to read all that. All right, here we go. Death Nut 3.0. So I'm gonna crack this open. So, and many of you have probably done this challenge or attempt this challenge before. Uh, let me know your. Um, let me know what went for you. All right. So it says here. Death Nut. Challenge 3.0, thank you for purchase. This challenge is the hottest thing you'll ever eat. It is imperative that you read the warnings on this box and accept the terms of consumption. www.deathnuts.com All right, so it says here, uh, start a level one open bag with scissors. So this is a, this is a two player challenge. Guess I'm doing a solo. I'm going to dump these out here. All right, so there's five levels. <clears throat> All right, so we are here. All right, so one. Yes, I can count. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so let's so start at level one. You need to shove peanuts if more than one player which um, I'm doing a solo, the wife, um, I know. Uh, no liquids or food allowed until completion. Chew entire cons of each level for 10 seconds. Wait 30 seconds before advancing to the next level. After consuming level five, which is the death nut, you must endure the bird for five minutes to complete the challenge. Good luck. All right. So I will glove up here. So each uh, bag here has a little saying, which is kind of cool. So my uh, level one says, are you ready for this? Sounds like a, sounds like a hip hop song from back in the day. You are ready for this? Yes, I know I'm metalhead, but yes, I still know the club music. All right, so it says here, get this on camera here, all right. You got the rules, good luck, how far to go, post your video and share the world, blah, 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 blah. All right. All right, level one, it says mild. Are you ready for this? A special blend of Carolina Reaper. How can you start level one with Carolina Reaper? Carolina Reaper, Daddle Peppers, and the deliciously warm West Indies Scotch Bonnet. Ooh, I love Scotch Bonnet. 
So I'm gonna keep everything on camera. I'm like I'm doing a solo here, so I'm gonna dump this out. nuts in my hand. A lot of nuts. Get my timer set here. Alright, so I'll wait my 30 seconds. Um, like a sweetness to it. It's warm. Um, I want to say it's mild. Maybe we'll step above mild, but hey, I'm not the one making the challenge, right? David Boy. It's warm. You hear that? All right. Level two. A lot of them was a mild. Wow, my tolerance must be really crappy. That's warm. All right, level two medium. The party's starting. Carolina Reaper, Buchalokia, which is ghost pepper, and the Wicked Seven Pot Brain Strain. Seven Pot Brain Strain is wicked. <clears throat> all at once. It's a lot of nuts. Level two. Okay. Now science is starting to kick in. <clears throat> Alright. Level three. Question your commitment. Once again, Carolina Reaper. Seven pot Dougla and a double shot. Boots will kill. Powder on this one here. <clears throat> Definitely getting the uh, perspiration kicking in on the forehead. Open up and up now. That level is called getting there. We're definitely getting there. <clears throat> All right, level four. Oh, hell yes, hot. Woo. Eyes are watering. Five. Zip. 
<sighs> Regretfully, I ah, three times a Carolina Reaper, two times a Morgan Scorpion, a blast of wicked hot seven pot primo pepper, a sparkle of pure, all natural 16 million Scoville capsaicin crystals. Oh man. Right. That's a five minute afterbird. <clears throat> so, I'm going to let that ride. Oh man. Whew. So, bring it, bear with me at the end. I'm going to add a little something to the end here. So, all right, so the five minute afterburns. This is the this is the worst part of the challenge. It's like just like just just five minutes just take forever. So I thought the level one was actually pretty warm. Level two wasn't bad. I think flavor wise, I think probably level three was the best. Oh man, my eyes are watering. Ugh. Level three is probably the best. Level four really kicked in, but level five was really crazy hot. Now, level five is the 16 million capsaicin crystals. Now, if you guys have not seen my chili challenge that I did, that destroyed me bad. That's the first time I've had the 16 million Scoville capsaicin crystals. That was, that was terribly, that was terrible. So, this is the Death Nut 3.0. <clears throat> Obviously, there's a Death Nut 2.0, which I've done. And there is a Death Nut, which I have not done. <sighs> oh, man. <sighs> so, online here, David Foy. Good dude, David Foy. This company's already blasted off since he's done the uh, Tuba Terror. <sighs> there's right up there. I've been seen nine of. He's also got the peanut brew challenge. He's got solar flail flare. I can't even talk. He's got the, that crazy cookie that not so. Not your, not your granny screaming hot cookie. I knew it was stamping the time out on me. It's the uh, not your granny screaming hot cookie. It's got the shirt. It's got the Carolina Reaper uh, checkers challenge. It's got the hot balls challenge. It's got spicy popcorn. He's scale for me right now. I'm gonna go with a seven. So we're about down to two minutes. The timer I originally had on this thing disappeared. So bear with me. But you got to chase the heat spoon. But he's also got a new product coming out. It's a white powder shove in here. So Supposed to, to, supposed to help eliminate the burn. I got tears. Hope you can see that. Got tears coming down from my eyes. Oh man. So it's supposed to help eliminate the bird. Oh man, I'm floating good. No name for it yet. 
but uh, you're supposed to dump it into a cup of cold water. Shake it up. Let's see how it works. We're gonna just do that. Oh man, this is hot. Let's say no joke, this is definitely a high seven. So shake it up here. Again, there's no name for this. You want me to try it out? So I sure, will do. <coughs> Woo, that was much higher than 2.0, that's for sure. A lot of throat burn, a tongue of tongue burn. I'm floating. I'm floating good. Got the last five seconds here. <coughs> Challenge completed. Alright, we're gonna give this a go here. flavor to it um, we'll see it's, it's kind of cooling down the burn but I don't know it's like one of those things that people say never drink water after burn because it's a temporary fix but once a temporary fix is gone the original heat amps up times three that's kind of how it is right now I mean, the flavor's good. Oh man, holy crap, that was hot. I mean, maybe it's helping a little bit. I will say it's helped down with the tongue and the lip burn, but the lip burn's still kind of hanging out. But, it um, got good flavor to it. We'll see. We're almost done with it. So, if you guys have done the 3.0 challenge, uh, let me know what else. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know how it went for you. It's hot. So, the magic potion, half oil that you mixed up, um, I will say it did help with the tongue burn and the lip burn, the throat burn. Well, maybe, yeah, maybe it's kind of calmed down a little bit. I must still, but uh, good flavor. Whew. All right, guys, take the hand up hot sauce, Chunky Tim. This is a hot one, guys. Holy crap. Do a little pepper. Thank you.